darting through your shrouded roots ignite your fire and douse my good your smoky trail a path of suit I find myself cast shadows where I strode though fast my legs could barely go I could not from the highlands in yeah. the midst yep. of Scotland yeah so how, how was that growing up in that uh, kind of location very idyllic I think um, when even when I was a, a young child I think I was kind of aware of how nice how good things were um, for the first few years of my life I, I lived in a place where there was only like 23 of us in the school so innocence was really intact I think for a good long time um, and then we moved to a sort of larger school and I, I learned a few more lessons there probably. <laughs> uh, I hear your music is heavily influenced by the Scottish poet Robert Burns. What of his works do you like the most? Well, if I'm honest, I've, I've played a lot of his songs in the past just due to being Scottish and being a lot of Burns nights and stuff like that. And I love his poetry in the sense that I think it's, it's beautiful and very, uh, it's just very well done. Um, the images are, feel very real to read. Um, I like, I like he, how he's quite a romantic. Um, he has um, a, a poem that I once recited called Love's First Kiss, which is like probably the most romantic thing I've ever read. And usually, usually I would cringe at things like that. Uh, so he's probably one of those rare, the rare few who you read and you're like, oh, wow, wow. And then most of the time it's, it's not like that. So he's, he's, he's good at sort of keeping it um, real. You were playing and with the likes of the Mumford and Sons and Elvis Costello. Yeah. What was that like? Um, well, the Elvis Costello one was lovely. Um, we did it in we we had the gig in Sligo, and uh, I played with um, the the four girls. Um, we're like a sisterhood. I've got three fiddle players and a piano player, and uh, yeah, we had a really good time. Um, and he was amazing, and and I actually listened. And that was nice. And then the Mumford Boys, um, again, was a wonderful tour. I toured the Highlands with them after meeting them a year or so before that. Um, the tours were, it was very raucous. Everybody was um, just so hyper. Uh, so it was good training to try and harness this ball, ball, ball of ball. energy. Yeah. <laughs> but um, you're so relaxed on stage and even you know, having conversations with the crowd. So how does that feel on stage now? Uh, it feels really good. I've always been, I've always really enjoyed performing because beco before I sang my own songs, I would have been on the stage doing other things anyway. Um, and yeah, as, as I've got older, it's sort of grown and you, you just learn that people sort of, if you're on the stage, you sort of give people, they're giving you the opportunity to sort of make them feel comfortable and stuff like that so that's a sort of a responsibility in one sense but also just the challenge and and it a thrill so I really like the aspect of just being on stage and seeing how sort of honest you can get yeah. you know listening to um, humming home mm -hmm. <laughs> um, it's uh, and the Highlands it seems like I don't know where are you at your most happiest Definitely, uh, more and more I'm finding that I really enjoy being home. I really enjoy the touring aspect. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm generally, I think, a happy person just by sort of nature. So it's, it's good just to be amongst good people and stuff like that. But being, being alone in some sort of, in cave-like places, I quite like, I find, find some strange happiness there as well. So that's, 